Hello, welcome to the RTV new program called Teaching English to the Sheep. This is a very interesting program for the first time. Why the children of this country, the adults of this country, whether they live in villages or cities or even in the forest areas, all of them should learn English and can learn English. Why they should learn English? In the schools, the children of tribals, Dalits, backward classes, what we call broadly the Shudras, who were not trying to learn English in the school education, have to learn English under this program we give you a lesson by lesson how uh, in the villages, in the forest zones, in the urban areas, the poor uh, children or others also can learn how to speak English and how to write English. Now, why do we call this program Teaching English to the Sheep? In India, as of now, the government schools in all the states do not have English medium education where the poor children study, whereas the private schools which charge huge amounts uh, exist in cities, in semi-urban areas and the kind of money they charge our rural masses, the laborers, the artisans, the farmers cannot afford to spend on their children education. Therefore, we started a program called Making All Government Schools English Medium with an idea that every human being on this earth can learn English language more easily than any other language in India. But the rich who educate their own children keep saying that no, the village poor children cannot learn English because it is not an Indian language. But their children can learn because they have facilities and their parents are already educated, whereas in the rural areas, the children cannot learn English because their parents are not educated in English, they can't speak in English and their environment does not suit the English language. So, they say, no, 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 English cannot be taught in government schools, in the rural areas and so on. But the very same people, the rich people in the cities speak in English even to their dogs. They train their dogs to respond to English language. Therefore, we thought the sheep which are known as most innocent animals, which are plentifully, uh, which are hugely available in this country, can learn English better than the rich people's dogs can learn. Now, the idea is that everybody can learn English 
much more easily than they can learn their own so called mother tongue in the school educational curriculum why i am saying that english could be learned quite easily than let us say telugu tamil malayalam hindi marathi gujarati bengali and so on you just take one simple issue of the language english has just 26 letters whereas any other indian language has more than 50 letters and you look at the letter writing in english you you just look at a how you can easily write a like this b like this c like this but whereas in indian language letter writing is very complicated you have all kinds of you know round ups you have all kinds of lines you have all kinds of uh uh designs and so on so how is it that english with just 26 letters with easily uh writable child can easily learn uh, how to write a b c d e f g h definitely the child child can learn english letters much more easily than any other letter writing but there is a problem their mother and father also think that english is a very difficult language now that is because in tv channels in in uh, general speeches uh, the educated people who definitely send their children at the age of 3 to convent english medium schools keep telling the villagers that no 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 english is a very difficult language it is not our language it is a foreign language it is british language therefore children cannot learn now this is a comp- completely wrong that kind of information is being spread because they don't want all indian children to learn english so they don't want the people who are struggling to make life in the agriculture in animal grazing or processes in forests where they live as tribals they don't want people to learn english therefore they tell all lies about english being a difficult language i'm telling you children as you are as beautiful as the sheep are as innocent as the sheep are as great as the sheep are sheep as an animal is a great animal which became our first animal for meat and milk and even today uh, we use sheep as a as a metaphor for god not dog not any other animal but sheep so like like the children the sheep are beautiful animals they are innocent animals but they are great animals they are most useful for the human life therefore uh, we should start teaching english or talking in english to the sheep so that 
all indians can realize that their children their youth can learn english whether they studied in english medium school or not for example i never studied in english medium school but i learnt english and i write in english i speak in english that is because i i began to love that language because of its simplicity because of its richness english is a very rich global language english is a language of science english is a language of production you know both the children as well as the parents should realize that once you tell your children that it is not difficult to learn they begin to think about oh it is not very difficult my mother is saying so my father is saying so my brother is saying so therefore i can easily learn now that is how we should start learning english and teaching english to the sheep now look at india as a country we have crores of children just going to school at the age of 3 and in the beginning they are supposed to teach our children how to play with birds how to play with animals how to recognize animal names how to recognize bird names how to recognize crops how to recognize fruits how to recognize you know various kinds of things around their own life and how to know their names that's how what we call kindergartening or the pre school uh teaching starts now as of now such pre schools exists only in private schools where the rich people pay money but i want all the mothers and fathers of children to demand the government a uh, system to start pre schools in your villages children should start learning two languages learning i mean how to begin to write how to begin to look at the letter how to begin to look at the picture of letters that can happen in two languages it can happen both in english a b c d e f g h and so on and say in telugu or hindi or tamil a i e u u and so on this is possible a child can easily learn uh english along with the family language what we call the home language or a village language or a tribe language so every child should begin to learn english at the pre school level and this is what you know the beginning of learning not only about letters not only about language but about the nature you know the village kids can understand the nature much better than the city kids the urban kids why look at the villages every village around itself will have beautiful green crops lot of trees and within the village there are lot of animals villages have buffaloes villages have uh, cows villages around them have 
sheep, goat. Villages also have dogs. Villages also have cats. And villages have lot of birds on the trees. They have parrots, they have crows, they have you know all kinds of birds. So what the parents must do is you take your child when you go out to the field or when you go out to the forest nearby and show them the birds, show them the animals, show them the trees, show them the flowers and tell their names. If you know Telugu, if you know Hindi, Tamil, Malayalam, you can tell only in that language to start with. But let the child learn about the nature, about the animals, about the birds as a practical education around their own life. Now what happens in cities? In cities, children have to be shown animals only in photographs. How many children can see on the roads buffaloes, sheep, goat, cows, bulls, he buffaloes or cats running here and there or you know dogs. Uh, dogs keep fighting of course even in urban areas but in villages it is a part of human life. Now that's where the child environmental education should begin. But remember, if your child learns this in two languages, the child's ability to understand the world will be much better because once the child keeps growing, child goes into LKG, UKG, class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4, the child should know the environment around animals, trees, plants and more importantly crops. Why crops? Because children in the urban schools do not even know that our food comes from the crops that grow in the villages. They think that food comes from shops. No, food does not come from shops. Food actually comes from fields. And the village child knows what is a field, what is an animal, what is a bird and how the seed the land, the crop, the animal, the bird are interrelated and they live with one another. After all, child will see that the birds keep eating grain when they are still in the crop form. That's possible only in the village. That's not possible in urban cities. So education in villages will be much scientifically rich, will be much uh, scientifically uh, learnable than education in cities. Therefore, we start this program in English language for all Indians even all global children, parents and relatives, villagers, urban mothers and fathers, for all of them to see that their children will grow with a creative mind, a scientific mind, an easily grasping mind and at the same time learn two languages, one an international language, English, second one your own home language as 
the mother keeps telling about words about issues about uh, life as she keeps feeding the child at home and the father keeps talking to the child after he comes from the cattle rearing work or the tilling work or the pot making work or the shepherding or fishing so these are all very very fundamental tasks the parents of the children do normally urban children think that oh all parents go to office and uh, come back now what they do in the office they cannot be explained to children because it's just sitting and writing some file whereas the village mother and father can explain various experiences that they keep undergoing as they keep working in the fields with the cattle with the environment you know so on and so forth so this is the first lesson of teaching english to the sheep now you will be watching you are watching now and the sheep are looking at me you know how to learn look at the sheep's faces how curious they are to learn if the sheep are so curious to learn then the children should also be curious the mothers and fathers of the children should also be curious to learn new things and in the second lesson we will see how we got animals at our home how did we make friendship with animals what is known as domestication of animals thank you subscribe 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 rtv rtv telugu rtv rtv telugu rtv telugu rtv telugu